but the know your numbers and this is a little bit off the track of when people think about finance i understand that the the inclination is to start to think about oh it's, it's about interest rates right and who's going to give me the most amount of money to be able to buy my home and and my position in helping and our, our company's position in helping so many people whether it be construction or, or not is to know your numbers and what by that by that what we mean is know what income you've got coming in we're all relatively good at knowing what we're earning but also know what you've got going out and what do we mean by that just understand what your expenditure is what your um, your discretionary and non-discretionary expenditure and the reason why the people that understand those numbers numbers, they understand what budget they've got that they can focus on for repayments, which flows into that next tip, which is focus on the repayment. If you know what you've got coming in and what you've got going out and what you've got left over to commit towards a mortgage that's comfortable for you, not what a lender is going to turn around and tell you what you can borrow, what you feel comfortable borrowing. That's the important thing. Um, focus on the repayment. A lot of people tend to say, oh, I, I need to borrow 200,000 or 400,000 or I don't want to borrow more than 500,000, especially in the interest rate environment that we're in at the moment. Focus on the repayment, not the loan amount. Start from the bottom as opposed to the top. Um, think long term versus short term. I just think in general with, especially in, and more so with construction, um, it's a process, um, you know, finding the land, negotiating on the land, getting the land, and then making your way through all of the options that are available when it comes to constructing your home. And then there's the build time. And, and at various stages, it's quite understandable to feel a little bit daunted at some point. And so what we're talking about there is just think about, understand and be clear with regards to what your end objective is. If it's about investment, then understand, okay, what am I gonna get at the end of this process? And what's the potential growth long term look like if it's about relocation etc and you have some um, dips and troughs in motivations or some frustrations along the way just continue to keep the picture on what that end result looks like and the final point is always is about always including a buffer and what we mean by that is uh, making sure that you're not putting yourself up against or in too much pressure you've always got a buffer of cash that's available there for whatever pops up it might be a variation with respect to the build um, especially in regional Jeff touched on that. There is some, um, you know, there might be some unforeseen costs somewhere along the way, uh, or something might happen in your own life that at the end of the day that you didn't foresee. And you need to ensure that, okay, well, when those things or if those things popped up, you don't put yourself into some sort of financial stress associated with, um, you know, having to manage that.